Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And you're right, you read the title correctly, Bell Pepper Madness. We're going to talk about the bell peppers that we grew last year and a little bit of the fun we had with the cats on the plants, so stay tuned. We would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So the bell peppers started off on the back porch. They were an ebb and flow system. And we had um, 11 plants. And as you can see here, the cats used to love to jump up there and eat the plants and nub them down. We eventually, after the frost started to come in, we had to move the ebb and flow into the garage. And here it is in the garage for the winter with 24 hours of light. Now let me add that when they were on the back porch, they were on a screened in covered back porch. They did not receive any direct sunlight. They had to wait for the light to come in through the windows during the day and they were hit by the frost three times before we moved them so they would shrink up and a couple days later would come back. And as you can see here in the garage, you can look at the leaves. The leaves are fairly chewed by the cats. That's what those little holes are. It's not a bug. It's our, our cats like chewing the bell peppers. So they lived on the back porch and they got nubbed down and here's the last one and it's finally producing peppers and we're going to harvest them and eat them. But we're in the process also of starting up another batch of bell peppers to go into the ebb and flow. Now the ebb and flow is a very easy system. It's a big reservoir on the floor. It has a pump and every hour it comes on and for four minutes it fills the reservoir and you can see the water registration marks uh, on the side of the tank there as it's filling. But every, four, every hour it comes on and it floods the tank for four minutes. It takes four minutes to drain the clay pellets and the lava rock and the bags all retain moisture in between the cycles so the plants stay nice and moist during the day. So it's not a bad system. It's fairly easy uh, maintenance. We set the nutrients in the water on day one. A year later we changed Water's out the water, up, checked them again, and it's still running. We're hit the overflow so it's not a bad system if you've got a garage and you want to grow things in. Now, here's the overflow that we just saw, off, and, and as the water level the comes up, we'll come back to the overflow to hear the water Say hello, uh, draining out. But again, cats like bothering the bell pepper plants, so it's a good place to keep everything nice and safe. And then when it hits the overflow line there, it overflows back into the reservoir for about 15 seconds, then the pump shuts off and everything drains down into that reservoir. And originally when we started, we had 11 plants, and the cats nippled them down to nubbins, and we only were able to keep the last one, if you remember, by putting all those baskets around it to keep the cats from getting to it. And then here are the harvested bell peppers. My hand for reference, they're not all that big, but they were the red sweet variety, and again, it took almost a year to grow these with the cats and everything but nice to have them we've got a few more coming off and as I said we're starting off with a new batch here we are sprouting the new seeds they're coming up and um, they're out on the back porch now and then eventually they'll get put into the ebb and flow system and be watered and everything so that's pretty much what we've been doing so ladies and gentlemen that's our bell pepper madness for you here's one little bit of the whistle coming in Well, that was the train whistle on the back porch for you. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have fun flying your grumman or growing bell peppers. Your call. Have fun.